Okay, really nice and simple format today. What we are going to do is we only have four exercises. We're going through them four exercises four times in total. We're going to be working for 40 seconds and resting for 20 seconds. And the way it's going to work is that the exercises are going to progressively get harder each round. So, for example, the first one, round one, number exercise number one is squats. When we come back to squats in round number two, that changes to a squat pulse. Round three, it's a squat jump. And round four, it's a squat hold. Okay, so it progressively gets worse as we go on. That being said, if you want to stick at that lower level or even just air squats, that's absolutely cool because you're still working really hard. So the four movements we've got that are progressively going to get harder are squats, mountain climbers, lunges, and a core exercise. So it's really simple. We're going to be working for 40 seconds and resting for 20 and we're changing to that next exercise in the rest. So I'm going to be doing it with you so you can just follow along. And then to warm up, we've just got three mobilisation exercises and we're going to crack on with that now. So if you get yourself in a bit of space, we're going to start with a warm up and we're starting with 10 air squats. So we're looking to wake up our hips knees, ankles, all the muscles in the lower body. I've lost count, typical for me. Right, we're gonna go into a walk out, we're doing five. So, hands down to the feet, walk yourself out to a high plank. If you want to add a press up, you can. If not, walk yourself back up, stand up straight. Trying to keep the back of your legs, trying to keep your legs as straight as possible to really wake up the muscles in the back of your lower body. Okay, number three, four. Now on your fifth one, I want you to stay down in a plank. So number five, you want to go down and we're going to stay in this plank position. We're going to do five lizard stretch on each side. So my right foot wants to come to the outside of my right hand. I'm really waking up the hips here. A few seconds and then switch legs. Left hand to the outside of your left, left foot to the outside of your left hand. And then we're just going to repeat till we've done 10 in total, five each side. <laughs> Last couple. Lovely. Have a little relax there. Take on some water if you need it. Look at the quality of this. After every hour, I can have some water. That's a good idea. Okay, so we're going to go straight in to exercise number one in a minute, and that is your air squats. So, starting with air squats, think about keeping your torso nice and upright, so chest pushed through, shoulders back. You're going down as low as you can. Make sure that you're keeping your knees driving out on the way up. So, 40 seconds work. Are we all ready to start with air squats? Starting in 10 seconds. I know I am. I'm on your mat. Two, one. Here we go. Forty seconds here to pace yourself. We are ten seconds in. Trying to keep your torso straight. Your spine wants to stay in its natural position. We're halfway through. Really nice. We have just 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, one. Onto the floor in a high plank position. Just watch me first. We're starting with slow and controlled mountain climbers. So almost like just toe taps. Bringing your leg in and tapping your foot. We're going in five seconds. 
in position, off we go. Nice and controlled. Think about a nice active core. So you're tucking your pelvis to really engage your abs. We don't want relaxed abs like this. Pull that in nice and tight to get your abs contracted for the entire workout. 15 seconds remaining. <laughs> 10. Last five seconds here. Nice work, guys. Oh, back up onto our feet. We're going to be doing alternating reverse lunges. So we're changing leg each time. Try and get that knee as close to the floor as possible. We're going in three seconds. Off we go then. Again with this, we're looking to stay nice and upright with our torso, chest push through, shoulders roll back. We're just finding a pace that you can sustain for another 25 seconds. Last 15 seconds now. And then we're going for our fourth exercise. Five, three, two, one, relax. Our last exercise is a crunch. So you are laid on your back, knees are bent, crunching up. Really focusing on pressing them ribs down. So on the floor, going in five seconds, hands to your temples. Off we go, 40 seconds. Don't just think about raising your shoulders. Think about crunching your core. So you're trying to press the bottom of your ribs down towards your hips. Really focus on that movement. Try and control it back down. Like you can almost feel your core muscles lengthening out as you lay down. 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, one, rest. Okay, take some water on. We're gonna have a quick one minute rest in between rounds. So that is round one complete, okay? So that is your baseline <laughs> level. If things get too hard, that's what I want you to go back to is either the squat, slow and controlled mountain climbers, alternating reverse lunges or crunches. However, this round, if you want to, we're gonna progress and we're gonna progress to this. Your squats are going to change to a squat pulse. So you will come down to the bottom of your squat. You will come up just halfway, go back down and then stand. So these are one and a half squats. And we're going to complete them for 40 seconds. Your mountain climbers will now change. They're still staying slow, but they're going to go to a cross body mountain climber. So rather than coming up, they're going to go across the body. You're adding a little twist in there. Your lunges are going to change from your alternating reverse lunge to a lunge pulse. So you will come down, up, down, change. Down. <laughs> She's got my slippers on. Okay, so lunge, raise, lunge, up. Still alternating Yay. on the mat, please. Your crunches are going to change to oh, cuddle. You're just trying to buy it one more time. Go on, look that way. Crunches are going to change to reaching with the opposite elbow to the opposite side. So we're adding a little twist in. Does that make sense? Right, going on the mat. Okay, we're starting back in 20 seconds with squat pulses or one and a half squats. Come on, then you keep behind me because I need my little helpers. Okay, we ready? Off we go then. 
squat, raise, down, stand. Nice, so what's gonna happen here, we're just spending a little longer under tension, really gonna fatigue the muscles a lot quicker. So if you wanna go back to normal air squats, feel free, but we have just eight seconds to go. Three, two, one. We're going to them cross body mountain climbers. So it would look like this, but obviously you're in that high plank position. We're going in 10 seconds. Again. Keep that core contracted so we're not letting the core sag. Three, two, one. Cross the body. We're still going nice and slow. Push through the floor with your hands and tuck your pelvis under. Just 15 seconds left here. Five seconds. Back onto our feet. We have the lunge pulses. I'm this way and you can help do our time, Imogen. You tell me when it goes red, please. So we take a step back, we come down to the floor, we raise up, pulse, then stand, change leg. Off we go. Step number one was just the alternating lunges. The burn gets too much with these. I stay nice and upright. Over halfway. Three, two, one. So we're going to the crunches. So hands from the temple as we crunch up our opposite elbow will reach for that opposite knee. We're not looking for a big movement. We're looking for the, to get the core contraction right. We're going in three, two, one. Squeeze the abs and then reach across. Nice and slow, really try and get a feel for your abdominals crunching and then lengthening as you lay back down. 20 seconds to go. The last few seconds. Five, three, two, one. Rest. Take some water on if you have it to hand. Nice. So you can see how that slowly got a little bit harder. This time we're going to up it once more. So we're still doing a squat, a mountain climber, a lunge and a crunch variation. And it's, this is what it's going to this time. So your squats went to a pulse. They are now going to a jump if you can. So we're going to squat and jump. Don't want you to sacrifice your squat depth. So we're not just doing this. It's still a squat. If you want to squat and then just explode onto your toes, I'd rather that than doing the jump and sacrificing your squat. Your mountain climbers are now going to go to fast and explosive ones. Your lunges are going to go to this nice slow and controlled descent and then jump up. You're still going to change legs. Slow, jump up as you bring that knee up. Slow, jump feet together. Slow, jump feet together. And your crunches 
I'm going to go to an alternating V sit, and then it wants to be quite explosive. So we start with our hands behind our heads and our feet on the floor, and we explode up, touch the opposite leg. If that's too much, I want you to bend your knee in and reach for your foot, okay? So that's your full movement for this round. We're going in 20 seconds. So we're starting with a squat jump or just a squat explode onto your toes. Eight seconds into position for your squats. Don't sacrifice that squat depth. Three, two, one. Now these are really going to burn really fast. This one is going to be your hardest round. This is going to be your hardest round. The last one, even though they're sort of isometric, is actually easier. So this is your hardest round. Push through. Rest there. We're going to our really quick and explosive mountain climbers. And in 10 seconds, be quiet. Into your mountain climber position. Off we go. Really fast and explosive now. 40 seconds. Try not to stop. Nice and quick. We're down 10 seconds. Just keep pushing. Heart rate is going to fly up. Don't worry. Halfway, keep moving, keep going. Nice, strong shoulders, drive the knees up. 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, one, we did it. Okay, we're going to them explosive alternating V sits or foot reaches. So just to recap, we start with our arms overhead, drive up, alternating legs. Go to five seconds, three, two, one, let's go. Core's really gonna be on fire here. I just realized I missed the lunges, we'll do them next. <laughs> If it gets tough, bend your knee in, reach for your foot. Halfway. Last 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one. Okay, lunges. So we're still alternating each time, right? So reset, feet together. Take a lunge back. And as you stand up, you want to drive your knee up and jump. Feet together, next leg. In one minute, let me just do this one. So we lunge, explode up with the knee up, change legs. Little jump on that leg. Remember to change your legs, so we start with our feet together each time. And the different leg goes back each time. Really drive that knee up with a jump. Drive that knee up. Just 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Relax. One minute rest and we're going into our last round. Okay, so this is how the last round is going to work. Your squats went from a pulse to a jump and it's now a hold. So you're going to come to the bottom of your squat and you're going to hold for as long as you can. If you want to do that as a wall sit, feel free. I don't have enough room in here to do a wall sit. Your mountain climbers, 
They're just gonna change to a plank, okay? Holding, holding that position. Your lunges are changing to split lunges, okay? So the jumping from leg to leg. And your crunches are gonna turn into an isometric core exercise. So uh, the heels are off the floor. Michelle, you'll remember this one. I'm gonna crunch it up. Okay, so what's happening is from here, my shoulders are on the floor. I'm squeezing my core to raise my shoulders and I'm reaching as far forward as I can. I'm gonna aim to hold that for the 40 seconds and then we're done. Okay. We're going in about 15 seconds. We're starting with the squat hold. Can you put that open up, please? Okay, we're going in five seconds. We're going to come to the bottom of our squat and we're going to hold. Okay, off we go. 40 seconds. You have to fight for a good position. And it's going to burn. It's going to burn in about 10 seconds time. And we're just going to hold. If you need to come back up, Take a deep breath and then go back down. We are halfway. So next we're going to a plank hold. 15 seconds left here. Last 10 seconds, keep holding. Five, three, two, one. Oh, nice, good, that feels good to get up. Okay, we're gonna go into a high plank position and hold. Really want you to focus on squeezing your core so we're not really relaxed here, pulling that in. We're going in at five seconds to into position. Wrists wanna be underneath your shoulders, squeezing your core. Off we go, we're gonna hold this for 40 seconds. If you need a break, tap your knees on the floor, quick breath, knees back up. Focus here on trying to pull your shoulders back, tuck your pelvis, looking forward to elongate your spine, squeezing your bum, squeezing your back, keeping them shoulders depressed and the hips tucked under. Three, two, one. Okay, we're going to jump lunges, quite possibly one of the worst exercises on the planet. So if you want to try and do your jump lunges and then change to an alternating reverse lunge, you can do that. Okay, so we're going to jump into a lunge and then switch it up. Three, two, one. Okay, off we go. 40 seconds is the aim here. Knee wants to be getting close to the floor. If you don't have a mat, you probably don't want to be touching your knee on the floor, but get as close as you can. Well, yes. Halfway. Um, Go to alternate and reverse lunges yeah, if it gets too ten, much. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, five four, three. Two, one. We're on our last exercise, okay? So we're doing that crunch hold. One. So our knees are up over our hips. Knees over the hips. We're gonna crunch the core and reach for our feet. Out the way, pop Okay, three, two, two one. one. Holding this position. Every now and then you're bound to relax so you reach that little bit further. Nice, long, deep breath for 10 seconds in. Reach further. Keep reaching. No. You'll find you'll get that little bit more contraction each time you reach. Halfway, reach further. 15 seconds, reach further. Breathe. 10 seconds, reach further. Five, reach further. Three, two, one, relax, relax. We are finished, we are done. How are we feeling? Rachel, are you alive? Give me a wave.
<laughs> nice work. See, that was really simple, but really effective. My legs are really burning. Camera's not great on this. Uh, sorry about that. Hopefully you saw anything. But no, that was really good. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. I'm sweating. Hopefully the kids have burnt some energy. Um, yeah, I'm off for a busy day, but hope you, you really enjoy your weekend, guys. I'll see most of you throughout the week. Tomorrow evening, I'm doing like a weekly Q&A slash roundup of the week. Really excited to see your check-ins tomorrow. Make sure you're open. And the check-in process has changed slightly, Rachel and Michelle. Um, questions have changed. So just make sure you read the questions. Um, but I'm really looking forward to that. Speak to you all tomorrow and you're checking anyway. And then hopefully you can join the live. If you have any questions, ask away. And I'll speak to you all next week. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.